Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Tuesday, July 6th, 2010. This morning I'm going to continue on the introductory material and cover classes in Small Talk. And to get started, let's take a look at constructor ish methods in Small Talk. Now, I should say that the reason I said ish is that class methods, meaning methods that you send to classes, are just like any other method in Small Talk. Classes are objects, they just happen to be behaviors, which means they're subclass from a class called behavior and you can send messages to them just like any other object. So for instance, I can send rectangle origin, give it a point, corner, give it a point, and I will get back a rectangle object. So I'll go ahead and do an inspect on that, and you notice that what I get back is a rectangle object. Now, classes have attributes, at least they can, and the most common attribute they can have is instance variables. So let's go ahead and browse class rectangle, and you'll take a look at the definition over here. Go past the comment. You see here the definition looks like a method. It looks like a keyword message. In fact, that's all it is. I have defined class sent to a namespace with a super class, index type, and so on. And here are the instance variables. So this is how I define a new class. I just tell it what attributes to have, a bunch of other properties, and boom, the class is created for me. And then as far as class creation methods, if I look at the class side of the object, I can see over here I have from user, I have new, and that'll just give me a new rectangle with no attributes. I can give it an origin and a corner, an origin and an extent. And this points out something interesting about class methods. You don't have to have specific constructor type messages like you do in some languages. In Smalltalk, a constructor can be any method name you want, new, new colon, some other set of keywords like this one for rectangle, and you just hand it the data you need, and you'll get back a pre-filled new object. Of course, you have to write the code for the pre-filling. So here we have new, and we set the origin to this and the extent to that. And we find that there's an instance side message that goes ahead and assigns all those attributes, the instance variables, I mean. And that's how it works for any object. Now, I'll give you another small example of something you can do with class creation. Let's go ahead and do something like this. File name, volumes. Now, the interesting thing about this is this will work across platforms, whether we're on Windows or Mac. Now, here on Mac, it doesn't give me anything useful because the file system is rooted at slash, and that's the only volume I have. But over on a DOS box on Windows, I would get back any attached USB or network drives, you know, shared through SMB, and you'll get similar things on other platforms with network shares. So how does that work? I'm sending this to class file name, and if I browse class file name, you'll notice that in the comment this is an abstract class, and yet I got back something called an OS 10 file name. So let's go ahead and inspect that again. There it is. I got back this guy here. This is just my collection, but that operated off an OS 10 file name system. How did that work? Well, it turns out that if I debug my way through it, let's go ahead and debug, you'll find that it's going to have a factory type approach to figuring out what platform I'm on. So let's go ahead and do a send into. And notice here we say self equals file name. If true, we go in here and self default class. And that's where we do the magic. We come in here and say default class, which is preset. If I just go ahead and look at default class, and I can inspect at any point, I'll find that my default class is Mac OS 10 file name, and that's how I go ahead and now run through that and get back the answer that is appropriate for the OS 10 platform. And that's really all there are to classes and class construction methods. Construction methods like new, new colon, anything you want to dream up like we have a rectangle are not special. They're just messages sent to an instance of behavior. Let's go ahead and find class behavior just to point that out. So we'll find class behavior, which would work better if I could spell it. And we'll go ahead here, go to the comment. Instances provide the minimum state necessary for compiling methods and creating and running instances. So every kind of object in the system is ultimately subclass from behavior, other than proxy objects, which I'm not going to get into at the moment. And you can go ahead and send class methods to them. And those class methods can be instance creation methods, and they can be named anything you want. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.